Celestrana. You're listening to the lovely voice of Vina. And I am La Raji. And we're, we're in the presence of many art forms right now voice, music, crystals, color. And Vina, you know, you know of some things that you can share with us about these crystals here. Yes. Well, I feel the beautiful vibration, the crystal clear vibration of the crystals. And as I look at it and sing with the crystal, I feel a purity of the light that comes through the crystal and comes through me as a channel, like a crystal. I find that the light and the energy around the crystal is purified and magnified because of the quality of the refracted light and the clear areas with the crystal. This is a rock crystal, natural formed. And I hear that New York is built on a bed of crystals. Too, Just like right? this? Yes, rock crystals. Really? Yes, there are many, many kinds of crystals. This is one example. What does that mean for New York, if New York is built on crystals? Ah, that the energy here is magnified. That's why it's so beautifully intense with art and creativity and energy here. That the crystal is magnifying the energy that comes through this area. When you say the energy is magnified, what energy? The vi vibrational rate. Um, the energy that comes in and around and through the crystal. From it's, where? It's like purified from the universe, from all around us. So energy that is floating through the universe will act differently when it's around a crystal? Yes. It's like you can take maybe a prism like this, which is a cut glass crystal, mm -hmm. and see the rainbow prisms that go on the wall. And just like that rainbow harmonious energy, the energy that comes through the crystal is also 
pinpointed, laser-like. They use crystals in lasers to pinpoint the energy and move it and move the light around dynamically. So I can feel this when I'm around a crystal. There's a kind of a coolness in the air, like a breeze, a fresh breeze. And I've used crystals in groups and singly for healing, just purifying the energy. You can bring it up through through your energy systems and around your aura to purify the air. Do you use all of these crystals? Well, yes. Most of them sit on the altar where I live. And they just purify the energy in the house, too. You can keep them clean and healthy by soaking them in salt water, cold salt water. It will take away any mm -hmm. negative vibrations. Could this be seawater or just your own? Seawater is beautiful. Or your own salt water? Seawater is beautiful, or you could use maybe salt seawater. I am familiar with these as gift items. And I hear there's uh, a story about crystals. If It's better to receive a crystal as a gift rather than to buy your own for yourself? I've heard that too. And I think that maybe the energy that surrounds someone giving you a crystal is, is very heart energy, very much heart energy, so that when you receive the crystal, yes. there's love connected with it. So, there's love with the crystal under New York, would you say? That's a love crystal? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, you, when does one want to clean a crystal with salt water? Well, if you feel like maybe you've been in an environment that's not really conducive to your best vibration or your best har harmony, you might want to clean your crystal. This is if you've been in the environment with the crystal. Yes. Because the, the crystal. crystal will pick up the vibration? Right. Or even yourself. Like if you come home and you stand in front of your crystals and you may have anger or something, you probably want to get rid of your anger and clean your crystals. Like it's a release also. It helps you to take out any energy that's not supposed to be there. Oh, that sounds lovely. Well, how would one person who doesn't have crystals how would their life go differently from someone like yourself who keeps crystals around? Well, I could think that things could build up, like I say, anger or something. And when I have a ritual and something as pure as the crystals to work through getting rid of anything that might build up, then the ritual and the feeling and the belief and the knowing helps to keep the energy pure. Like I can start fresh every day when I work with the crystal meditation. Would you say that, do you use sound in your meditation? Yes, I vibrate with the, listening to the inner sound, which is very pure and harmonious. And with the crystal, I find that it just really clears, like a laser, the sound that comes through me. Hmm. You imagine, could you use your voice to do some some work for crystals, a crystal meditation, uh, sure. something of, for, okay, a few minutes. sure, using your voice.
As with nothing, the borderless place where all of time is represented, the life force without beginning and without end, through instruments, through hearts, as living consciousness unfolding, the hidden peace is being revealed. I am aware of non-time, of this place without borders, the whole of the whole, softly here, undisturbed, through all as this eternal kingdom, so close at hand, so close at hand, so close at hand. Feel without thinking, without blinking, being so still that the silent, hidden homeland becomes effortlessly revealed as having never gone away. The kingdom so close at hand this kingdom so close at hand, this kingdom so close at hand. Where is freedom? Freedom is in I am contemplating myself as this instrument of this freedom, this way. This kingdom, this close at hand. This kingdom, this close at hand. This kingdom, this close at hand.
Laraji and you're listening to the lovely voice of Bina. And we've enjoyed being with you in this half hour. And trust that you will allow the energy of peace, love, light, and harmony to become amplified and magnified through you, your thinking, your feelings, your actions. so near at hand, this eternal light so near at hand, 